Listen. They're oh. still after us. I should have known they'd never quit. Oh, Stop. we're almost at the end of this goddamn chapter. Stop. Oh, wow. Don't worry about them. Just keep on talking, all right? You started this story. You better finish it. Okay. Yes, yes all right. Where was I? Huh. I nearly told Braddock about the survivors. Yes. I almost forgot about this flashback. But I knew it wasn't my secret to share. Though I believed I had seen Braddock's heart that day. That for all his compromises and collaborations, he would never let any harm come to the survivors of the first colony. I had started to think of the first colony survivors as my people. Just as I did the Coronas crew. I'd left one family on Earth just to find two more here. I was trying to be loyal to everyone that deserved it. Keeping secrets within secrets. But deep down I knew the situation okay. couldn't stand. It was time to put my cards on the table. To get Zoe Chi and Braddock together. In hopes they could forget the past. And finally heal by helping one another. I didn't know it was already in motion. I didn't know it was already too late. Okay. We've already done the T energy transaction. Where things about to go pear shaped. We're going around in circles. I'm here now. We're investigating, and we'll reassess the situation once all the facts are in hand. Ah, Peyton, is it? Thank you for coming. Mr. Braddock, if we could have the room. Pardon me, but this is his office. Jim, don't. Not now. What the hell is going on? Looks like you got everyone good and freaked out. That's why you're here. I can see why you're so well respected around here. A natural leader. I am here, you could say, to provide perspective. And you mean Nevek's perspective? Well, considering the resources we've expended to make this effort possible, one could say that that is the perspective. I don't work for Nevik. Indeed. But you take the credits Nevik pays you, so perhaps I can prevail upon you to hear me out. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll come to realize I'm not here to dismantle Braddock's operation, but to make sure that it counts for something. Uh -huh. Why are you here? Your family, correct? I understand that motivation better so than you think. What is your so game here? Tell me, Peyton. Is there some other priority? Some new agenda? Are you threatening you his family back on Earth? Family safety? Something more important to you now than 
Never seen them again. I'm sorry, what's your game? Hmm? <laughs> of course not. Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here for the human race. Not just for my son's future, but for all the children of Earth to escape extinction. And there is nothing and no one that I will allow to get in my way. Okay, and I'm failing to see how That's we can't all. have a situation where First Colony and the... The Green, have we uh, located that Dr. Roman yet? Okay, not sure how I mean, the exact situation with our endemic's objectives and the first colony and the first colony objectives can coincide. Please, my experiments are in a delicate phase. No, the reason there's no guns on it is because we're not allowed guns. If we're allowed guns, we'd have guns on it because then these fights with the stupid. Lobster monsters would be a lot less I suggest you keep your mind on your work. Unpleasant. Like Nevik all of a sudden like oh we're going to turn Nevik into the corporation from Avatar. Except this game kind of came out before Avatar. They're going to be an evil corporation. I mean, I haven't played the first Lost um, Planet. But do you think they'd be a bit more... Hey, those Nevik goons just dropped it. off a box of parts for your rig. Something about charging a drained battery, like those big Zeus numbers on the fueling depots. All right. I think we go claw arm with this one. Wire up the fingers, make them into jumper clamps. Yeah, that could work. And this will probably give me a shock attack, which I can use on the lobster monster. And then I cranked it to the nines with some Primo booster packs. I lifted off some old T-190s. Pack grab power for the win, right? <laughs> so check it. Your claw arm is juiced. Pump it, and you can charge batteries in a flash. Got a feeling it would charbroil an acrid in a few seconds, too. But you let me know, okay? Above and beyond as always, kid. Oh, and I'm calling it the shock jumper. Now get out there and shock jump some things. I want the Roche begging for one so I can tell him to stuff it. <laughs> All right. I need to go warn the doctor about what's up. I've noticed that the um, Nevik goons let the good mad scientist out of solitary. Or at least out of uh, his uh, cell. Because it kind of is a way set up that their what their priorities are and how kind of whacked things are on the base. Uh, company town. So, it's my complaint is, it's it's kind of weird at how not the weird, but it's 
kind of disappointing from a writing sense, but the writing before this has been pretty space trucker-y, which is nice. And then we get to here, and everything basically goes all straight up. Um, Ideally, what should be happening is basically going, oh, is, is, we don't really have a reason to really get all douchebag on this yet. We can stop and the site I has, I presume, been making quota. Everything's been doing well, fairly. And so if Nevik's main interest is keeping the site profitable, then basically we accomplish the objective and keep the site profitable. We manage to do it in an ethical and ethical manner, that's fine. If they're here to provide additional security for the base, then it's no matter there is how we do things as long as it works. Oh, nice tutorial there. God damn, this thing looks like a charm. Hey, I like it. Uh, 
I should just keep the crap off my rig at him. Get back and fall. All right. bumper. Shock you, you shock you. Shock you like a hurricane. A rocket or whatever. Oh, god damn it, hit the wrong button again!
big. Get you? Yes, I did. All right. That wasn't so hard. <sighs> okay. Where you put it? Not bad. James, you there? I believe I need a breakthrough on the source of the storm. Come see me at your earliest. Okay, this is probably a pretty good place to wrap up this episode. Next time we'll, get, we'll go talk to the good doctor. See you then.